But that recent data from the drug makers vaccine trials has raised questions in the scientific community. AstraZeneca deviated from standard reporting on clinical trials by pooling results from two different studies. Neil O'Reilly reports. It was hailed as a major breakthrough in the coronavirus battle. AstraZeneca and Oxford University said their vaccine was 62% effective in people who received two jabs and 90% effective in those given a half dose followed by a full one. They later acknowledged this was as a result of a fortuitous mistake. Originally, all of the people in the trial should have had two high doses of, of the vaccine. And in fact, some subjects got a, a first dose that was half what it should have been. Uh, now, that wouldn't normally be a problem if you just want to test whether something's safe or, or if it works. But when they actually looked at the data, they found that the people who got that lower dose to start with appeared to be responding dramatically better than people who got two high doses of the vaccine. So they're describing this as a serendipitous discovery, because if that turns out to be true and not just a statistical glitch, it could mean that the vaccine goes much further than we had originally anticipated. But at the same time, it's undermined public confidence to a certain extent because people are already concerned that these vaccines are being produced at very, very fast pace, doing in 10 months what would normally take 10 years. And as a result, there's a degree of vaccine hesitancy. The development has given European medicines regulators pause for thought about this particular product. Authorities are desperate for an effective vaccine, but they also want to reassure a sometimes sceptical public they won't approve anything that isn't completely safe. Neil O'Reilly, Euronews.